Hi guys, welcome to my 12 week pregnancy vlog. Um, 12 weeks, six days today. Um, I'll show you my bumpy. I'm going to the beach today, hence why I'm in my little bathing suit. There's bumpy. Holy moly. There's no hiding that. Um, feeling great. Oh, I want to show you my little drawer over here full of little baby girl things. So as soon as I started telling my friends I was having a baby girl, sure enough, all the stuff came in. I've got some hand-me-downs already, like this is from my friend Christiani. Can you see that? Sorry. Um, I bought this. I thought this was so cute. Um, Mark and I bought this. Symbolically, we wanted to buy some um, cute little girly things. One of my best friends, Claire, got me this when we were very young, which I just think is so cute. Um, so she's already accumulating quite a number of things, which is so funny. Of course, my mum went out and started buying clothes. She's never bought clothes for a little girl before. And I was like, mum, the clothes don't have to be pink. They can be blue, they can be green, they can be yellow, they can be whatever color. It doesn't have to be pink, but sure enough, she got me some pink little dresses. Um, well, it's feeling very real now. I'm almost out of my first trimester. Ah, oh, I feel great. This week I feel really good. I haven't been feeling as nauseous. Um, I've had a couple of days here and there where I've been a little bit nauseous, but aside from that, I've been feeling really good. Um, my little guy, Forrest, has been so cute. He has been wanting to kiss the baby belly and saying, kiss my baby sister and kissing the tummy. And, you know, I've been having some interesting emotions coming up surrounding him no longer being my little baby and is he ready for that? And just how am I emotionally feeling about him not being the youngest anymore? Because we are so enmeshed and we, you know, he sleeps next to me. We, he's still breastfeeding and um, we're just so affectionate with each other. We're always hugging and kissing and I'm like that with my boys um and I'm sure this will just mean triple the love but um yeah it's been oh it's been really um funny like thinking about all those sorts of things and I'm not worried I'm sure that the adjustment period will take some time and there will always be a transition when a new baby comes along but all in all, I'm just feeling incredibly excited. Izzy found out this week, um, not exactly how we wanted him to find out, but it's okay. We, um, I had like post, I have a private Instagram as well where I post pictures of the, the kids' full faces. And on my public Instagram, um, you'll notice that most of the images of the kids, they're like looking down or they're kind of more in the background or they're not. Um, I feel like they're not super recognizable through my Instagram and I have a private one where I just, I can post whatever I want, um, for my friends and family. So I had posted on there, there was about 40 people on there and, um, I made sure that no one knew Frankie and Zach, Isaac's parents so that they wouldn't find out until Isaac. And then Mark just had this feeling he's like oh maybe we should just text them and say hey if anyone bumps into you any of our friends you know make sure Izzy doesn't hear that we're pregnant and so let's just tell them and I was like okay fair enough um and we have this big surprise planned I think I've been talking about it on the vlogs about um you know Bodhi wanted to pick either Megamind or um or a cowgirl if it's a girl and you know that kind of for him, it wasn't really a surprise anymore because once we found out a girl, it was a girl. Maybe because we haven't had a girl before, all of the people around us were really excited and kept talking about it. And so Bodhi was like, so are we having a girl? And I was like, oh, I'm just going to tell him because he keeps hearing that we're having a girl. And I keep being like, well, well we don't know yet. Um, and then I just said, you know what, let's just tell him, yes, we are having a girl. He was so excited. Um... And then, so he messaged Frankie and little did we know, Izzy had his phone, uh, had her phone at the time. 
And so he read the message and saw that we were pregnant. And, you know, Mark was really sad about that because he we had this big plan and we really wanted it to be um, this beautiful surprise for him. And, um, and Frankie was really sweet. She was like, Izzy, just pretend you don't know. Just pretend you don't know. Um, and you can play along with the surprise. And Izzy, who's just bless his heart, He's such an honest little boy. Was like, no, I want you to tell them that I saw it. Um, and then sure enough, we all jumped on FaceTime and Izzy was so excited. And he was like, she's going to be a badass. Um, so it was really nice. And so now he knows. We just haven't uh, publicly announced it yet. I don't think we're going to do that until we're about 14 weeks along. It's quite nice to just have this secret just us, um, our friends and our family and... I really enjoy that. It's so obvious because my stomach is really big. So I have noticed other people who I don't know very well, like clocking my belly. Um, but whatever, I've just eaten a bunch of food. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, symptoms this week. I've been sleeping really well. I'm feeling I'm so much more energetic than I was last week. Last week it was a doozy. I just was so tired. Actually, even the beginning of the 12 weeks, I was a little bit tired. Um, I just wasn't really feeling myself. And I think it was a combination of the pregnancy, but also being dehydrated. I think it's so important to maintain hydration during pregnancy. And uh, somehow I just got out of whack with that. And no matter what I could do, no matter what I did, I couldn't get rehydrated again. We also have been cranking our heater here because it's been very um, cold. But today it's 27 degrees. That's why I'm taking the kids to the beach. Um, yeah, so, you know, not much of an update really. Oh, of course, I totally forgot to tell you. Um, I ended up going to my 12-week scan. So I was going to cancel that after I spoke to one of my girlfriends. And she was like, well, you've had the Harmony test. There's no reason to have the scan and I completely forgot to cancel the scan. And the morning of, I was like, oh my God, I completely forgot. I rang them and then I realized I'd still have to pay for the scan regardless. And I told them the reason why I wanted to cancel. And they said, look, we're gonna measure her limbs anyway, just to see that she's on track. It's not just about um, ruling out Down syndrome. It is about a few other things as well. So I just decided to go ahead and do it. Um, Mark gets too anxious at scans, so he didn't come. My mum came with me and the boys came too, which was really special and they got to see her and Bodhi was so excited. He could not stand still. He was jumping about the place, ah, going crazy, um, like hugging me over and over, just talking to the baby. And it was really beautiful, hectic, really hectic because Forrest woke up halfway through the scan and needed boobies and I was like, oh God. Um, but she really, she looked healthy. She's measuring right on now, which is wonderful because she was uh, two days behind, I think. So she's measuring right on track. Um, I think maybe they adjusted my due date by a day. Uh, and, I, you know, I still ask the question when I was in there. I was like, oh, does this lower the chance of miscarriage now that I've seen her at 12 weeks with a beating heart? And they were like, yes, yes, you can, you know, you can tell your friends and family. Um, but I told them at, at 11 and a half weeks anyway. So, yeah, it was just another awesome scan. We got to see her, which was really fully formed and saw her little... 3D image, she was kind of holding her little hands up in front of her eyes and tucked in. Um, and Bodhi, I have a picture of Bodhi doing the exact same thing, the exact same gestation, 12 weeks, two days. And they're, they're, they are in the identical position, which is so funny. Um, and it was, it was funny not seeing any dangly bits between the legs, because I at last one at 12 weeks, you could definitely see the penis, forest penis. And this time around, I was like, well, that's definitely not there. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. That's really my update. Um, feeling good, not doing any exercise whatsoever. Um, probably not eating as healthy as I should be. 
a lot of smashed avocado sandwiches, lots of bread, so much bread, tons, 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 lots of pizza, lots of pasta, um, definitely some sugar in there. But I am also trying to have freshly squeezed juices and smoothies and all the, that good stuff too. So, ah, you know, I'm doing it in Adelaide for another week. Then we'll be back in LA for about six or seven weeks. So excited to get back to LA to see all my friends um, and to bring this growing baby out to LA. Um, all right, guys. Well, good luck on your journey. I wonder if you're the same week as me or if you're further ahead um i will be releasing these at 14 weeks so this will be a part of the backlog that gets dumped on yours and mama um i have tons of videos there that are going to go up so you'll have my whole first trimester and then you'll be up to date the day that i announce i'll also post my 14 week pregnancy vlog all right guys sending love Mwah! all the very best